Hello everyone, Emilu here. Today I want to show you how to do a frog. Love frogs! And uh, we're doing it in the style of Inon Amersley. So it's Hammersley. I'll write it down for you on the screen. But I just did a um, crane. Really awesome bird. Uh, so now I want to do I want to do a frog in the style of her. So she's a she's an English artist and she was born, I'll just hold this up in case you want to write it. She was born in 1957. She was known really for doing wildlife, for doing rainforests, for doing nature related animals and backgrounds, beautiful pictures. This is what she looks like. And her jacket is actually a piece of her artwork, which I think was really cool. She did abstract and semi-abstract, so not necessarily completely realistic, uh, but some of them are, I think, especially if you think about a rainforest. So these are beautiful flowers. Love this frog. My sister doesn't like frogs. <laughs> but this is a really cool frog, isn't it? You see the background, it's lovely. And the colours are so vibrant. This is another frog. I really like the fact that it's it almost looks like a leopard's sort of print on a green leaf. It's a really nice contrast. And then you've got a lizard. So there's loads of pictures. I mean, I have, you know, tons and tons. So I could show you a lizard maybe. That might be quite nice. But they could go on and on and on. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll make a start now. What I've done is I've stuck down, I've stuck down newspaper because I want to do it in a background, an exciting background. So I thought, let's stick down newspaper and let's draw the frog over the top. So if you can't see when you're drawing, you've got to stick the newspaper with PVA or print stick, but let it dry really well. And then we can go back to it and draw it. And I would probably draw it in pencil, but just draw quite lightly as long as you can see it. And I'm going to do it in pen just to show you. So first of all, try and aim for most of the newspaper that you're working on. So I'm going to do an eye. I've got to be careful because, <laughs> because I can't see as well as, you know, I can't do it completely and see it. So a circle, just think circle with one of those bobbly bits, you know, like um, it looks like an eye, almost like a snake eye. So you want a circle with a bobbly bit, touch just about there, and you're gonna go down. Yeah, because my glue is still wet, I've just realized. Okay, go down. Then you're going to go across. Go over it more than once. Go over it more than once if you have to, it's fine. Then you're going to go. Oh man, this is going to be quite a, quite a tricky one. Let's have a look. We're going to go... So it's just there with a little bit of an eye there. Can you see it? So you've got a big eye. That bit, we can even colour that in if it helps. If you feel confident and you want to do it in black pen, oof, you could try, but it's obviously quite tricky. I'm hoping you can see it. Can you see that when I do it with the print, it's easier to see, but when I do it with pictures, so hard to see. So make sure you stick mostly print down, so words. Okay, touch this bit here, just where the eye is, and you're gonna go, I'll do it dark, I'll do it chunky, just so you can see. So I'm going to go up like that. And then just where the mouth is, I'm going to go one, two, three. So it's a bit like, I don't know what I was going to say. It reminds me of um, a hippo, a hippo's neck almost. So just do that. And then we're going to do some legs. It's really easy to draw. It's just on the newspaper. It might be a bit challenging. So let's just take our time. We've got a nostril there and a nostril there. It doesn't matter where you put the nostril. Well, it does, but you know, let's put them there. Because mine's kind of like a cartoony one as well. So then we're going to take just where you've got there. So one, two, go down. 
long as you've got it on there, doesn't matter. And you're gonna do a little arm. You see, like that, just a little arm. Can you see that? You can, can't you? Now, I love, I love the little hands of the frog. We're gonna do this. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go around, it's super dark. And if you haven't coloured, if you haven't stuck down the newspaper much, it's going to come off. So just be really careful. It doesn't matter if it comes off as well. It's just a starting point for where to draw. And then we've got another hand there. I say a hand. <laughs> we've got his little, little thing there, but we want just to touch that bit here. So touch there. And you're going to go... Oh. It's quite nice when it's pointy on the, t on the top because it's like his um, knee. So just do that and then we're going to do this. You've got a gap there and there. Pause the video if I'm going so fast because I have this habit of going fast. I'm just going to slow down. So we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to go join it up and we're going to go one, two, it's his little feet. So don't worry if it looks strange. It's because he's sitting on a rock or he's sitting on a, a branch. So touch there and then do a long line. And then what you've got to do is fly, 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 fly like a bird. And then this is all of the branch. Now the branch has to be chunky. So just go across and do that but we want to draw some more of his other arms so we're gonna go like a chip think chip and then we're gonna go raw oh, can you see that my some of my newspapers come down but it's like a little chip so a chip and then another one that's a rather large chip and then we're gonna do some little little hands again it could be feet, couldn't it? Who knows? <laughs> right. Now he's sitting on a tree. Now I want to show you something, actually. I've got to try and find it. Right. We need to get rid of that line, if possible. So if you can't, don't worry, we're going to paint it. But if you can, just get rid of it now. With the rubber, if you can. And his leg might be a little bit more, because it's kind of folded. So it'll be more longer. Doesn't matter though, it's fine. Okay, right, and now float this line. So you're gonna touch the line. When you hit anything, float, then press, float. And then that is a great big branch he's on, but he's also on another branch. <laughs> so it's kind of like there. There we go. Whew. I think you can see that, can't you? Don't panic if that looks quite tricky because ultimately, if it's easy, you're not learning. Just try not to get too frustrated because it's easy, isn't it, to get frustrated. <laughs> so try not to. Just, just try and draw an eye, a body of some sort, leg, and then you've got all these little feet or hands, and then you've got the tree behind it. So now we're going to paint it. So. I'm going to let you get ready with the paints. We want acrylic paint or just nice thick paint. And you want yellow, blue, red, white and black. So I'm going to get ready with mine and I'll see you in a minute. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I've got my paints and I've realised it might be a bit difficult for you to see some of that. So as I go along and paint it, it'll probably be easier for you. So there's my palette. It's rather messy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to make a red well, I'm going to get a red on my brush, so I'm just going to rinse my brush out, dry my brush, and then the tree frog is, like, the eyes are so bright, and if the, if the, if the newspaper doesn't stick down, it doesn't matter, because the paint will stick it down, and it's just there, there's not much of this side, because he's looking side on. So next colour we want, we're going to do an orange, which is what my mum would say in a French accent, like the way she says it. So we're going to do this, touch there, 
the good thing about painting over newspaper is it covers it really well but it also looks really nice I just love using newspaper and also it's easy to find if you use a newspaper if your parents have it or if anyone has newspaper around the house it's quite easy to use isn't it so orange there no no we're gonna make a green orange was red and yellow by the way red and yellow right i'm gonna make a green which is blue and yellow i nearly forgot <laughs> blue and yellow if you want the frog to be really really like tree green really beautiful light green just put some white in it and lots of yellow but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go round the eye because that needs to be a bit green I'm just gonna cover most of him Whoa. might be a bit messy but just take your time i'm just gonna get some more green looking at my picture as well right all of his arm there is green yeah, kind of there green let's just color him all in green <laughs> Green little frog. He's ideally different types of green if you think about it because he's got a bit of blue on him. So I'm going to make a bit of a darker green and it makes it like a bluey green there. I quite like that. And what I'm going to do, right, so all the rest is really light. So this bit is dark. And do you remember, I don't know if you saw my other video on the crane, but I rinse out my brush, I dry it really delicately and then I, I blend, I smudge the colours in. It just means that they look really nice. This bit is going to be quite light. So I'd almost say like a grey. I quite like the idea of a yellowy grey actually. Let's do a bit yellowy grey because it's not completely white. So I've mixed white with a bit of yellow, tiny bit of black but not much. Okay, so there we have my frog. Very simple at the moment. I'm going to put a bit of white because it needs to be really light in places. So the good thing about good thing about um, I've forgotten what it was now. Good thing about newspaper is it's really absorbent, so it absorbs the paint quite quickly, which is good. Now I'm going to make a beautiful blue. It's the tree frog has like a bit of blue on him. Depends where you want to put it, but I quite like it. I quite like the vibrant blue as well. It's up to you actually where you want to put it, but make sure you maybe aim for the back or something because it's not normally on the nose bit. And then, and then we're going to, what should we do? Let's do a bit of black. I would probably, it depends how you feel, but you could let it dry and go over it with a black fine liner. Like a um, felt tip, sorry. Because what you want is you want to outline just a little bit of him. Put a bit of black where his eye bobbly bit is. No, his eye bobbly bit. You got his little nostrils. I think they're more close together. But I quite like them like that, to be honest. Then the tree, now we don't really want to do it the same colour because it's going to look like the frog. <laughs> so what I might do is do like, I might do like a really yellowy tree. But you could do any colour actually, couldn't you? You could have like a purple tree. Why not? Why not? I'm just colouring it in yellow. I'm sure you can see that, but just in case. I want to colour it a colour where you still see the frog because I want the frog to be the main attraction, you know? Because if people look at the picture and they can't see the frog, then it's not ideal. I like, I don't know about you, but when I'm painting, I like to not go to the edge of the paper. I just quite like to do that because what you can do is just kind of going to look like the frog now isn't it the colour <laughs> want a little bit green could do a little bit of blue I've just put blue in there and I'm going to blend into the tree now that looks complicated doesn't it but it's not 
I just got blue on my brush, put a little bit on there, and because the yellow is still wet, I can just smudge it in. And what I quite like is the newspaper makes it look more interesting. You know, like it looks more like there's energy in the picture and there's a lot going on and not just flat. Right, to make things look like they stand out, it is nice to do some shadow. So I'm gonna get some black on my brush, but you could just, you could literally let this dry and go over it with a felt tip, or you could paint it. It's just you gotta be super careful. Yeah, because I've gone over a bit of the hand. But I am doing it fast, so I need to slow down really, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. So outline it as much as you can, but you don't wanna do anything that you're not happy with. So just, if it doesn't feel right for you, don't outline it. But if you think, yeah, I could do that, then do that. Good thing as well is we can color the background. So, I don't know what color I should do it. I'm gonna get some white. I'm just, oh, I'm just gonna, colour a little bit of white there because you know it was a picture from the newspaper kind of makes it not stand out as much doesn't it oh I like that yeah so I could just do white wash over some of the newspaper and then take your time because I'm doing this quite fast so just take your time with the white I love when animals have white on them so just a little bit here and there it's a bit like putting black on the colours it looks amazing so if you do a little bit of white in the eyes it's like quite a blobby bit and then just um, it has to be completely white it makes things look shiny just yeah it just makes things kind of look cool cool you don't want to do too much white i mean i'm getting a bit carried away now but yeah <laughs> there you go. yeah he's a bit spotty now with the white but i do like that if he's in the rainforest, he would be quite wet because that's where it's most moisture, isn't it? So I'm happy with that. So just fiddle around with your picture till you're happy. It doesn't have to be this colour, the frog. It could be a blue. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Should have done that. A blue frog would be amazing. And what you could do is get pink paint and blow it out with the um, with the straw. You could do anything with this, but I love the fact that there's newspaper. It just makes me feel like there's more going on in my picture. And then we're gonna sign the name. Just sign your name. Have a go at doing it with um, signing your name with pa uh, paint. It's quite a nice thing to do. I might do one tiny thing. I would probably let that dry and then I would go over with some chalk, just because I love chalk, but I'd go over a few areas. So most of my paintings take maybe six months to do if they're really big, because I block it in, put the detail, and then I put more detail in. So you can take quite a while on this, but the shadow of where he's sitting, I'm gonna do a little bit of black. And when it runs out, I still carry on and blend. So that makes him look like he's sitting on a branch that's got shadow and everything. Okay, guys, and there we have it. There is our tree frog in the style, in the style of Anon Hammersley. It's Hammersley. And um, yeah, see how you get on like subscribe and share and hopefully it would be nice to see some of your artwork i know you send it quite a few people send them in they look amazing just maybe blow out with some color i'd love to try that i just don't think i've got the time but purple would be cool even white oh black would be nice wouldn't it I'm kind of tempted to do it i think i might do it okay let's try okay gotta be careful it doesn't drip Oof, actually looks quite good. It's just hard to show you on when it's an upright piece. 
of work. <laughs> it's not, but there, it's not ideal. But I love that look. I love the look of things sort of coming out. It looks just really quite fun. Woo! But um, only do that if you feel like you think it will look cool for you, because you don't need to. But I'd probably do it here and there, but I quite like that. See ya? Do you know what? I've just realised I quite like a bit of black there. I like the drip effect as well. Because sometimes if you hold your picture up, it drips, and I really like that. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I think I just, I think I've always liked, maybe not so much dripping of down there, because if it is, we can just wipe it off. But I like the, yeah, it's too dry now. But uh, you have to catch it before it dries, really. But have a go. Art's all about having a go and just seeing how you get on. I love to experiment because that's the whole point, really, isn't it? Of of doing things, seeing what works for you. I'm just going to do that. Aha! <laughs> Aha! I've got it. I quite like that. You see, I can't stop now, can I? I do like the drip effect though, look if you did that and it just drips, you might need to have it a bit more watery. No, it's not dripping now. I love the fact that when I show you it doesn't quite work, but never mind. Never mind. There we are. There is my, there's my tree frog. And have a great time doing yours. I keep seeing things I want to do. Just like, you know the texture of the tree it looks nice okay wash your hands <laughs> we're done well done everyone and i will see you soon bye